So this is my concept newspaper, Mita Mexico, which means see Mexico. Uh, that's the front, that's the back. The whole idea is how we do and don't see things. Um, this is just some instructions of how this newspaper works, and there's some credits back here. What it is, is it's an exercise in uh, uh, controlling and, and editing pictures. And what it is, is on one side there are photos like this, this is the back side, that have photos to do with everyday sort of life in Mexico. And if you open the newspaper on the inside, every spread has on the inside or the front of the pages, it's a picture of drugs or drug-related violence. And you can never see the full photo unless you dismantle the paper all the time. So it sort of plays on the idea that the news must be dismantled for you to see the news. And uh, as you leave through, you'll keep opening the newspaper and keep taking it apart. So there's an interactivity w w with the reader and the viewer. Each page has a caption for the photo. There are no competing articles, no competing ads. It's just the photo, the caption, and you, the reader. Now, it has uh, eight pictures on this side, drugs and violence related, and eight pictures on the back side, which are uh, non-drug related. So as you leave through, you reach a point where you keep looking at the photos and you keep it together as a newspaper. And then what you start doing is you start taking it apart. And you start looking at the possibilities of what the order of the photos are and which photos you, you do and don't show. So, it, in essence, in a lot of ways, it can become an exhibition as well. And I think that um, a lot of times we read the news and we look at content in the news or we go to an exhibition and we never question the gatekeepers of who controls our imagery and, and how we see it. These are all drug and violence related photos. But the whole exercise is that when you reach this point, you start wondering what the possibilities are if you were the editor. So you take this photo and you flip it over. You take this photo and you flip it over. You take this photo and you flip it over. Suddenly, it's like, it's, it's like a slow motion animation. You start seeing that the story in Mexico can be a very different story depending on who's controlling the photographs and what publications are showing. It's just about empowering people to understand what photos we do and don't show. And now you have a completely different story about Mexico. It's about options and choices. And I think that that's what, the, the, in a very simple sort of exercise, is what this, the concept behind this newspaper really explores. And what ends up happening is it's, a, it's an exercise in understanding the editing process. And the newspaper can become an exhibition. It's a little bit of that clash of art and news and journalism sort of meeting in one place. It brings to light sort of all the, the sort of successes and failures of the way in which we share or don't share information and news.